So this is the Elliptigo, and part of the campaign was to go 300 miles in 24 hours. So in a little bit, I will start. I'll go for 24 hours straight, and then I will go around the uh, Lunkin Airport Loop. And the exciting part of this is, is I've got a support team. We've got friends and family, and then even the families that are part of the kid again are going to be bringing their children out to support all through the day and then obviously tomorrow morning when we finish. I always say starting is easy, the middle part is really hard, and the finish is tough, but when you think about what these families have to go through um, and these kids that have life-threatening illnesses, the cost that they incur, the amount of treatments and hospitalizations that they have to deal with, a kid again's whole mission is to really help them have a time out to be a kid again, to be able to go to Kings Island, to the Reds games. So all the money that we get goes to support these activities and it gives them some hope and an opportunity to focus on getting better, knowing that in a couple of weeks they've got another activity or an event that they can be a part of. So a lot of these kids have cancer. Um, they've got rare genetic disorders. Um, sometimes the prognosis is good, a lot of times it's not. So when you think about parents that have to deal with kids who have life-threatening illnesses, the cost that they incur are monumental. And as a result of that, typically both parents work. And when they work, they don't have extra time or money or resources to be able to take these kids on vacations. So what we try to do is to say, hey, you gotta take care of the family, you gotta take care of the kids, let us help you have fun. So it's great to see their smiles. And ultimately, it's also a great support system for these families that are dealing with maybe different life-threatening illnesses, but they're all going through the same challenges. So it's a great way for those families to get together and to be able to share support to each other and spend the day together. You know, I think the passion is obviously first and foremost for the kids. Um, if you watch kids versus adults, when kids are going through terminal illnesses, they don't think about the future, they, you know, they think about the present, and all they want to do is play, and they want to get better. And it's amazing, I feel like for as much as I give to the organization, I get back way more. Um, I've got a five and seven year old, so a seven year old little girl, a five year old little boy, and we're fortunate. And as of right now, they're healthy, so we don't have to go through some of these challenges, and they've been a part of this. I want them to be able to see how fortunate, how blessed they are, and help them understand that, you know, it's not always about giving money, but it's also about giving your time and your support as well.